Blogging on its own can be tricky, but blogging with Show It, that's kind of a whole other story. You may not even know where to start with your question. You're so tired of trying to figure it all out. I hear you, friend. But you finally made it to the right place because in this video, I'm going to be explaining as clearly as I can to make sure that you come out knowing exactly how to get your blog up and running properly. If you're new here, my name is Carissa and I'm a Show It website designer dedicated to helping you polish your presence online and get your website launched quickly and easily. First, let's talk about how everything works with blogging with Show It. When Show It was being built, they came to the conclusion that WordPress was the very best blogging system that exists. So instead of creating their own blogging platform, they turned to partner with WordPress to create the best duo possible. A website builder that was easy to use, created beautiful results, and allowed for limitless design freedom, aka show it, with the most powerful blogging system out there that also allows the opportunity to use plugins to enhance and strengthen a website's capabilities aka WordPress. And sure, WordPress is very powerful, but it's not always the easiest to use. And sometimes designing your blog to look just as beautiful as your website can be pretty tricky to do. So the marriage between the two allows you to make your blog look exactly how you want it to and show it. And then the actual blogging portion happens in WordPress. So when you hit publish on the blog that you've written in WordPress, it all fills into those placeholders that you set up and designed and show it. Make sense yet? If not, that's okay, just keep listening. Actually, that's where a lot of people get confused. So many times I see people trying to write their posts and show it, and then they wonder what's going wrong. If that's you, no worries, you're definitely not alone. Just think if it has to do with the design and the look of the blog, log in to show it. Does it have to do with the blog content itself? If so, log into WordPress. Now that we understand a little bit more about the foundations of how the two systems work together, let's take a look on how we can get it up and going properly. If you're still confused, pay close attention here because we're actually gonna dive into the programs themselves so that you can see everything visually. The first thing you need to do is to design the Show It blog theme the way that you want it to look. The template that you've purchased should already have all the dirty work done for you. So all you really need to do is tweak the little things like your colors and aesthetic features to make it look the way that you want it to. First off, we have the blog list page. This is a page on a website I usually come to when you click blog from the top menu. Typically it shows the most recent collection of posts, at a minimum showing a, a photo and a title for each post. And sometimes also showing an excerpt from the post in the post category as well. Then we have a single post page. This is the page that you see when you open up a post to read. Typically here is where we see like a featured image, the title, possibly the category and maybe the date that it was written on, followed by all the blog content, um, like the words and photos. Sometimes there's also like a comment section as well. So let's pop back first into the post list page to start walking through everything. Now you might be sitting looking at your template thinking like, oh my gosh, I only have one or a couple photos shown here. That's actually okay. Again, these are only placeholders. So when you publish your site, you'll see many more posts show up on the page. Now, when you click on any of the blog related items on the page, you notice a little descriptor appear like post title. This indicates the piece of WordPress content that will sync into that field when published. If you need to change one of these or add something that doesn't exist, all you need to do is click on that element and then go to the text properties panel on the right and then choose the proper placeholder from the drop down list. So each one should make sense, like the top post category, post title, and post excerpt. And then when we click the image, it should have the check mark selected to set as the WordPress featured image. Many times you'll also have what's called a pagination canvas as well. This is simply an area that sends people to the next or previous page worth of posts. Just make sure that you have the words next or newer or maybe older posts written there and then link them up to the proper placeholders on the right side of the screen, which are newer post link or older post link. 
Now, just as if you went to anyone's website and you found a post that you want to read further, you hit like the read more button or the title of that post to read more. Then it would take you to the post where you can read the whole thing. This is where we move to the single post page to design. Again, when you click on each element, you'll see a WordPress placeholder that applies accordingly to make sure that that piece of content pulls in as you publish your blog. Again, these placeholders you see are simply a way for Show It to tell WordPress, hey, fill this text box with the title. Fill this text box with the content of the blog, and so on. That way you won't ever need to type your actual blog posts in to show it in this area here. Remember, if it has to do with the design of your blog, log in to show it. If it has to do with the blog content itself, log into WordPress. Now, just like on the main blog list page where we had the previous and next buttons to navigate to the next listing of posts, usually you want people to be able to click to the next and previous single post after, do, after they're done reading each individual post. This keeps them binging the content that you have. So that's where you'll see the single post pagination canvas show up as well. This will have the next and the previous placeholders listed here. And this time they're linked up to WordPress placeholder on the right that's called next single post link or previous single post link. Now one word of wisdom when you go to work on your blog, leave most of it alone. Again, all of the templates that are out there come with all the blog elements already locked and loaded to run properly. So until you have a really good idea of how blogging and your design works between Show It and WordPress, really leave most of the things alone besides your colors to match your brand. Okay, so now you're all done designing your blog list and your single post pages in Show It, and now you're ready to see how it looks. So you hit the preview button up top right. When you hit that preview button, it's still just showing those placeholders and you're wondering like, what the heck? Well, the reason why is that you have to have your design and show it published and your WordPress blog account set up and posts ready to go and publish in order to see those posts start filling into the placeholders that you've provided in your show it theme. And when that happens, then that content will start to pull into those placeholders. Set up your WordPress account to begin blogging. You'll have to reach out to show it and they'll get everything set up for you. You can do this at the same time that you initiate your website domain, be hooked up to your show it website, just like I explained in that last video that's showing up on your screen right now. Or if you're adding a blog to a website that's already published on show it, like it's already live and ready to go, just hit your name at the very bottom left of the screen and then hit view user profile. You should then see a button to set up your blog and then just answer all the questions that it asks you. And no worries, I'll leave more information about how to do all of this down in the description box. But once it has all of your blog all set up, they'll send you your login information so that you can start getting logged into WordPress and start creating those posts. Once you're logged into WordPress, you can create a blog post by hitting posts and then add new. Go ahead and fill out the title, the post content. We can throw in a photo if we want. Select it there. And then we'll hit the document tab on the right side to apply the categories that we want for this post. So let's say business and maybe we'll choose website design as well. You wanna select the primary category if you have more than one, so we'll keep this at business. And then we'll wanna be sure and add a featured image as well, because this is the image that's going to show up on that, that blog list page. Then if you want, you can add an excerpt in down here as well. And then once you have all these things entered, you're ready to publish the post. Once we hit publish, we'll pop over to your live website domain and click on blog. Once you refresh the page, now you'll see all of your blog content show in the placeholders here. And when we click read more or the title of the post, we'll see it load into the single post page design that we created and pop in all of that blog content, just like you wrote it in WordPress. So we put it under the business category. We have your title, your the photo that we chose as a featured photo, the content, and so on. Whew, that finally feels like magic, right? We got it all figured out. Now, I know that there's a lot more that goes into your blog design and WordPress settings than just the basics that I've covered so far. Let me know what questions you have in the comments below because I'd love to answer them in future videos. And once you have your website all finished and live, be sure to hit the link in the description box below to sign up for a website audit where I'll walk you through a checklist of all the must-haves that your website needs 
to be as polished and impactful for your business as possible. And if you want more tips and tricks on website design and how to polish your presence online, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one.